We need to accept the idea that humans uh, in ancient times were much like humans today. In the end, the point is, at what point does cognitive change work against human flourishing? Uh, then there are peripheral studies that studies religion by proxy. That's what you call by analogy. The benefits are that we can learn from each other and triangulate because the way our disciplines are structured in modern academia, they're based on methods, but we are driven by questions. Ancient historians like me have access to texts and we have access to objects through archaeology and that can help us to make some sense of ancient religion. But we don't have any direct access to experience. We have limited access to other cognitive practices. Uh, what you're trying to do is bring really different ideas together. Different disciplines use different methods. So by coming together, we're learning from each other on how to tackle the same questions in different ways. So it's very useful to work with, or be able to work with um, people uh, in experimental psychology who can actually experiment, come up with ideas, come up with experiments that can tell us something about how ancient religion may actually have functioned. My approach in studying religious phenomena and religious experiences is combining insights from anthropology and psychology. I'm trained in both. I'm very much here to learn. Uh, I, I've come here to discover more about what actually is being done here, what's being done by scholars who are interested in the ancient world but not necessarily working directly on it. I'm a classical archaeologist, so I look at artifacts that is 2,005 years old in, in ancient Greece. My approach has been to try to build a mind taking into account the contribution of culture and brain. I think I'm going to take a lot of insights home. There's a huge number of interesting ideas about the way the brain works. What I get from this is uh, finding uh, uh, same-minded people who want to pursue um, archaeology and the classical studies in another way and I think it's very important to, to ask different questions and, uh, from cognitive perspectives but also from other perspectives simply. Well, it was very useful for me to attend and I was expecting that it would be useful because throughout my career I've always been working between the humanities and the sciences in between different disciplines, between anthropology and psychology, between field methods and experimental methods. The atmosphere of the workshop has been really excellent, relaxed, full of information, uh, full of lively discussion um, in the best possible way.